in the studio. We're very excited this morning. We've got two guys who are pretty big deals in the film industry. One of them is an Australian Tropfest award-winning director behind the 2006 film Kokoda. The other is a legend of Hollywood responsible for some of the highest grossing films in history, including Aliens, The Terminator, True Lies, Alex, you're a massive fan. Big fan. Titanic and Avatar. A man I assume is, I can only assume, came here via helicopter today. <laughs> They're here to tell us about a brand new 3D project they're working on. The Sanctum and the director and executive producer, respectively, are here. Alistair Grierson and James Cameron, good morning. Good, good morning. morning, or good day. Good day indeed. Here. Welcome yeah. to our Sanctum. We've yeah, set up a bit of blue light in the studio. How is how's it going? Is it, nice does it look cave, like a cave? A nice cave ambiance. Yeah, we just have to have the echo go. Yeah, we have no echo effects at all. Yeah. I'm sorry. I feel yeah. like an amateur now, James. <laughs> no, you need, you need, it's that knob right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, it's oh, right there. Yeah. oh, look at me. I'm James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I come into the studio and start telling everybody what to do. That's <laughs> how it works. Jeez. <laughs> I actually arrived by jetpack. Oh, okay. Jack. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. So I always get those two mixed up. So that's good. To Thank know. you so much for coming in to have a chat to us this morning on Triple J. Um, and Alistair, we're nervous to be in the presence of Jane Cameron for ten minutes. How did it feel being picked by him to uh, to do this movie, Sanctum? Um, I, I describe it as my entourage moment. Right. You know, you, you get you get the phone call. Uh, James Cameron wants to bring you to New Zealand to talk to you. And, uh, Were you skiing on a mountain at the time? I was skiing yep. uh, with my jetpack. It's, it's an off-piste kind of thing that we do. Uh, um, no, no, I, I, I'd, I'd met the producer of the film, Andrew White, um, who'd seen Kokoda and, um, and eventually got, uh, got Jim to, saw it, to see the film. And, and Jim obviously saw something in the film that, that he liked and thought it kind of matched with, with, with the film that we wanted to make, The Sanctum, um, and invited me to, to New Zealand where he was making a, a short film called Avatar. Um, sure. And um, and we, we, we got on, I suppose. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> Well, Alistair camped out with us. I was shooting Avatar. He camped out for about a week with his director of photography, uh, Jules Laughlin, uh, to just kind of see how the whole 3D thing worked. Because I think they were both, you know, kind of kind of concerned that that might affect their their creative style on the film. And I think when they got their, their heads around that, then they, they felt more comfortable. And also 3D throughout the entire film this is obviously something that uh, that's a bit of a trademark of his style of late, James. What, what is your fascination with 3D? Well, what I just is, think it's all 3D? it's all going to 3D. You yeah. know, I mean, it, it's such it's such a um, especially for a story like this, which takes place in a, a claustrophobic, confined environment. You really feel like you're there. You feel like you can reach out and touch the rocks. And you know, the thing is, ultimately, the, the film is not as much of an adventure or an action film as it is a a, a, a drama about these people and, and, and the bonds between them, especially between the father and the son who have to survive this. And so I think the drama is enhanced by the sense of being physically present. Next big step in technology is how to get the 3D glasses that don't pinch the nose. How do you think we're going to overcome <laughs> this problem? <laughs> it's a good question. Done. I think the thing is 3D is just continually evolving. Uh, I mean, ultimately, obviously, uh, we'll get to a point where I think at, a, at, a, at an exhibition level, there'll be no glasses. And, um, but I think it's, that, that's evolving. And, and it's just going to there's going to be more and more pretty soon all movies i'd say within four or five years all movies will be in 3d a lot of your uh you know sports and entertainment programming in the home is going to be in 3d and i think all the stuff about the glasses is just you know you know it's like Suck it everybody up. complained <laughs> most people are stuck in a cave Alex. Suck it up yeah. that's right deal with it you're on george this morning we've got james cameron alice agrees upon this brand new film sanctum some really quick questions from listeners if you don't mind james go uh, for it uh the, these people have emailed in uh hi tom, tom and alex my question to james cameron um this is from anthony i've read in a few articles that true lies may be developed into a tv series will you be involved in any form if it does happen or will there be a chance of a film sequel if Arnold Schwarzenegger returns to acting <laughs> now that he's freed up? Not so much a Yeah, he's available more. now. He's, yeah. not, he's not running California anymore. Uh, listen, I'm not very involved in that. You know, that's something that uh, that the, the network is doing. Uh, frankly, I'm not interested in, in television production. I like I like movies. I like documentaries. I like exploration. I got a lot to do and, and TV ain't one of them. Okay. Fair enough. Cave, oh, we had, we had the TV series or spelunking what? on TV, something like that. No, <laughs> no I, I, look, I'm going to I'm going to focus my documentaries on you know ocean conservation and uh, renewable energy things like that that are actually important. Right. Sure. Yeah. Fair enough. And uh, following back to your your cameo in Entourage, James, someone uh, rec- a asking career whether high, apparently <laughs> exactly. I, I guess he's new up in every interview as well. Yeah, right. Um, people asking if <clears throat> following uh, your your fictional film of uh, the comic book um, Aquaman whether people have actually approached you to direct a real life well, this is this is how twisted hollywood really is after the the, the fictional aquaman made so much money on entourage i actually got <laughs> theoretical approached, money yeah. i got approached to do it for real oh it'll be great come on i said have you ever read aquaman it's a terrible comic 
<laughs> wow, slammed. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in, James Cameron, Alistair. I mean, we could talk to you for a million years, I'm sure. All right, well, we'll spend more time next time I come back. Oh, excellent. Okay, great. great. Well, we'll book you in now for that. I think we'll need to do that. But good luck with this uh, brand new film, Sanctum, and thanks very much for talking to Triple J this morning. You're welcome. Thank thanks you Thanks for much. having us on. Yeah. <laughs>